Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Lonnie Wu, and this is Cooking For You and Me. So I have to admit, quesadillas are one of my favorite things to eat, but nothing beats one made with homemade tortillas. So for this week's tip, I'm gonna show you guys how to make fresh homemade flour tortillas. They only take a few simple ingredients, and the best part about it is that they're incredibly easy and totally worth the extra couple minutes. So check it out. In a large mixing bowl, you want to add one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of salt. Then you just want to give it a quick mix. To this, we want to add three tablespoons of vegetable shortening. Then with a potato masher or a pastry cutter, cut in the shortening. You want these ingredients to resemble fine meal and cling together when squeezed in your hand. Then you want to add half a cup of warm water all at once and mix the dough quickly with a potato masher or by hand until the dough forms a mass. If it's too dry, add more water. If it's too sticky, add some more flour. Then you just want to give the dough a good kneading. You want to knead the dough by folding it in half, pushing it down and folding it again and again and doing this until it's no longer sticky. Then you want to cover the dough with plastic wrap and let it rest for about 15 to 20 minutes. This allows any extra liquid to absorb into the flour and for the gluten to relax, which will lead to softer tortillas after cooking. Once your dough has had a chance to rest, take your ball of dough and begin pinching off about 1 inch sized chunks of dough. Form them into tight balls by folding them over with your fingers, turning and repeating until it looks like a golf ball. Place it to the side and continue doing this until you have used up all of your dough. Next, on a floured surface, take one of the dough balls and begin to roll it out with a floured rolling pin. Roll the dough out until it's about 1 8 of an inch thick and 8 to 10 inches in diameter. Then you want to repeat this with your remaining dough balls. After you have your flour tortillas rolled out, you want to preheat a skillet on high heat. Then you want to take a raw tortilla and place it onto the skillet. You want to cook the tortilla until it begins to bubble and puff up with air pockets. This is going to take about 30 to 45 seconds. Then you want to flip the tortilla and cook the other side for about 30 more seconds. Then to keep your tortillas warm and moist, place them in a damp kitchen towel. Then cook however many more tortillas you want, and with the remainder, place them in plastic bags and either refrigerate them or freeze them for later use. And there we have it, fresh homemade flour tortillas. I hope that tip was helpful for you, and I'll see you guys next time cooking for you and me with Ronnie Wu.